going to start with Roger Waters. Um, and yeah. Roger Waters is, I don't know if we, if he was trying to hide this or it doesn't seem like it because his, his name is right there. I don't know if he was trying to, so I don't think he was trying to hide it. He wasn't trying to hide it. No. Yeah, or people Roger just Waters didn't know. Would not. He would not try to hide But even it. then, he has a right to privacy. But oh, wow. Roger Waters donates money to something he it likes. Just makes the gray zone cooler. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And that's where we're starting with your tweet here, Misty. Um, because that's what I thought. Like, I guess certain people would have certain reactions, but definitely people in our community have this reaction. It, and I'll read your tweet. It said, she said, or you say, Way to make Gray Zone look even cooler. Roger Waters is one of very few celebrities who consistently sticks to his principles and actually challenges power. And you are responding to this guy. Um, you can tell me the story of why you know how this came about to even see this and tweet this. Um, but this guy, I guess, is saying it in the bad way. So, Misty, tell me how did you come upon seeing this his tweet? And, and your reaction and everything. <laughs> so I actually saw Max tweeted it out. Uh, and uh, obviously I follow Max and I saw his, I saw him tweet it out and I, I don't remember what he said about it. Uh, but I, I immediately just laughed my ass off because uh, this obviously just makes Gray Zone look even cooler. To anybody who uh, follows Roger Waters, I followed Roger Waters for many years, not just for his music. I mean, I like Pink Floyd. I like his music. It's mm -hmm. fine. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. Like I listen to it. I like it. It's great. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of Roger Waters, the person, the human being. This dude has been consistent for decades. I mean, he does not back down. Uh, and I don't always agree with him on everything, but I always appreciate people who stick to their guns, especially somebody like Roger Waters, who has much to lose. And it would be much easier yeah. for him to just go with the flow and to just follow along with the narrative and all that stuff. And he's never done that. Uh, and he refuses to back down. He refuses to sell out, sell out the Palestinian people, despite the fact that he is regularly attacked on that issue. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, it, 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 kudos to Roger Waters for uh, supporting independent journalism. And I love that they try to pretend as if that makes um, uh, Gray Zone somehow not independent anymore. Roger, <laughs> Roger Waters is an independent citizen. He's not a corporation. He's not mm -hmm. some government official. Right. He's not. He's just a dude. Granted, he's got lots of money, so he's able to contribute thirty thousand uh, dollars. But this in no way changes their independent status, and it's absurd to pretend otherwise. So this guy yeah. just made. I mean, again, he just helped the Gray Zone. I, I think a lot of people uh, who saw this were like, "Oh, Roger Waters is donating. I'm going to go donate too." Uh, so, I'm sure that <laughs> a lot more. so let me let me read his tweet so he's up he's damn mad i don't yeah. even know how to say his name Alex oh and i Alexi? should i should also point out that what? the reason this whole the gofundme thing is they gray zone is trying to hire on uh full-time kit clarenberg um uh alex rubenstein and who oh shit the third one who's the third one why am i blanking it might say in the uh, the GoFundMe down there. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know why okay. I'm blanking. But trying to hire three more journalists. And these are all guys who have contributed to the Gray Zone. Kit just did a huge, massive series uh, exposing a lot of corruption in uh, Britain uh, and in the government there. I mean, a massive, massive series. I had him on my show to discuss it. Um, and so they're trying to hire. And Alex Rubenstein has done great work. Uh, Max and Alex just did that great thing uh, exposing the National Endowment for Democracy. Like, they do a lot of really great stuff. So they're just trying to hire them on in full-time positions. So uh, let's read what this guy says. He tweets out, I expected, and I'm going to read it in a center, sinister voice, mm -hmm. I expected uh, Gray Zone's dark money donors to launder their uh, grants via many identical anonymous $100 donors. But it turned out that rumors about Roger Waters... George is his legal name, and that's something I didn't know. Bank bankrolling Moscow's pet tanky were true. So is that is that oh, is that uh that's they're trying that's to Max connect Blumenthal. Roger Waters to Moscow somehow? And and yes, Wyatt Reed is the third one. Thank you, where uh Wyatt Reed is he has also done fantastic work. He was actually in uh Ukraine, his hotel uh got bombed yes. he was like a hundred mm -hmm. yards away. So I mean he they've all done really fantastic work. So yeah, it's just funny that they're trying to connect Roger Waters to Putin and Russia somehow. I don't <laughs> this is just ridiculous. So stupid. Yeah. And I guess Moscow's pet tanky, I guess that is Max Blumenthal. Yeah. Is Moscow pet tanky because he's not for the Ukraine war. So, well, Gray Zone in uh, general have been very openly against the conflict in Ukraine. The whole, the entire, as true. far as I know, the entirety of that crew. Yes. 
And here it goes. This is the proof. Um, it says George Waters. George is his legal name. Um, 30,000, and that is the proof. And as as your reaction was, Misty, where is the problem? Show me, show me where the problem is. This is going to be a very quick segment, so just going to get everybody's reaction. Let's go to um, Anthony first, my kid. Uh, Anthony, <laughs> um, did you know this news about Roger Waters or sort of being a donor towards the gray zone? Oh. And after and after knowing about it, like what is what is sort of your reaction uh, to it? How dare Roger Waters, <laughs> a musician, support free speech in uh, in in the news in the news area? That's crazy. <laughs> that a musician would want others to be able to speak their minds and support it. Yeah, this Alexei. What's his name? Uh, Kavalyov? Kavalyov. Kavalyov. I can't tell. He is, he is an enemy of free speech. Like, that's yes. fascist to me. Um, look, I don't like a whole bunch, like, there's a whole bunch of conservative news out there that I don't like. I don't want it to be defunded or not exist. And if it's not corporate, like the gray zone isn't, uh, it, it needs to be supported. Good for Roger Waters. And for those that aren't familiar with his music, I will throw out two seminal albums that I think, if you listen to it lyrically, are phenomenal uh, examples of his. He's been thinking this way for decades. One is called Animals, and it's about Animal Farm by George Orwell, and the other is um, The Wall. Uh, but why do they matter? Because, you know, when you're a subversive artist working for like, mega corporations like Columbia Records, you can't just come out and say it. You've got to use your subversiveness through your art. And he's done it. He's now at a place where he can just speak freely. He stands up for the oppressed people who are being genocided in Palestine. Mm -hmm. Good that he does. He stands out against war. And by the way, since when is anti-war just... You know, if you go back and look at the history of Vietnam, you were told that if you were against the Vietnam War, you were a tanky for China. So this is, and you were told this by conservatives, this is an age old, that tanky, you're a tanky for Russia, tanky for China. Anyone that was against nuclear weapons was a tanky for Russia or the Soviet Union years ago. That's how they used it. Um, they, they're they all about suppressing free speech and suppressing people's movements. Um, good. Uh, are you I will challenge Roger Waters now to make a $30,000 donation to Revolutionary Blackout Network. That's the next thing we're going to ask him. Mm, don't, yeah. don't, that, don't forget, don't forget next... uh, sarcasm. Oh, and, and, and independent and news that works. <laughs> Absolutely. He can split between the two. I don't need him to donate to me. If he could just donate to the, donate thirty grand to the uh, uh, Brandy Credico's billboard truck. I'm sorry, I forget. I'm the only one here that doesn't have a platform that costs money. So I appreciate you guys. For that. Well, well the, well, the thing is too, like if, yeah. if, I, if I could add in something here, look, uh, okay, Roger Waters is a private citizen. Mm -hmm. I don't care what he does with his money. Mm -hmm. If 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 supporting the uh, gray zone is something he wants to do, well, that's his own reason why and he could do so as he is a free citizen to do so as he pleases with his money but unfortunately i guess the establishment gets really upset and i see a lot of triggered journalists are like i can't believe roger waters or other people Jelly. like i can't believe he's doing it well gee maybe if uh, people got off their high horse or maybe he decided to stop being a jerk all the time, maybe somebody would donate to you. But obviously uh, a lot of these quote unquote people who want to be gatekeepers are triggered that Roger Waters likes the gray zone. Well, uh, I guess uh, maybe you should build your own team of award-winning journalists and uh, maybe do some groundbreaking stories instead. No, what are all these people doing? They're being haters. So uh, Roger Waters, keep on doing it. You're triggering the brain dead neoliberals and the brain dead neoliberals have become the war party of uh, the establishment now. So screw them and uh, keep speaking truth to power. I've seen Pink Floyd, the wall. And again, I just want to throw this out here. When I watched it for movie night, if people listen to the goddamn <laughs> lyrics of the wall, Pink Floyd, <laughs> It is satirical towards yeah. fascism. 
It is calling out the damage and the long-lasting impacts of war. I mean, before you get to the uh, put them against the wall part portion of the movie or either of, 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 of the uh, production or the show of it, you see what, what the character is going through as a kid. His father died. Roger Waters' biological father died. Fighting died. Nazis. Fighting against the Nazis. And yeah. he was a conscious ejector during the Blitz, of all things. Yeah. Uh, get over yourself, man. And, the and, wall is easily one of, in my opinion, one of the single most anti-fascist pieces of art <coughs> ever created. So the idea that anybody was trying to pretend as if Roger Waters is some right-wing fascist is fucking stupid. Just shut up. Take all the seats. And uh, let's throw out too. Yeah. Also, the final cut, which followed up the wall lyrically, is is very anti-war. Yeah. Uh, one other thing is, why don't we now talk to this uh, Alexi guy about who? the uh advertisers slash donors because that's what to they his are outlet of, yeah of or of the washington post and the new york times and those other legacy media news outlets are uh or all the news stations you know abc nbc NBC, all those cnn and, and and msnbc who are their donors their advertisers because the, you know that is never talked about ever but of course when big pharma and the military industrial complex and wall street owns you you are going to only report things that are flattering to them and ignore things that aren't um and so it's again yet another double double standard from those who think they are liberal but are really enemies of free speech you know they've chosen their side and it's the wrong yeah. side yet again and that guy just so everybody knows that guy works for medusa uh max blumenthal calls us out in a tweet where he says hold up a talentless nato sellout and full-time troll whose outlet medusa is sponsored by wait for it the u.s and british state is attacking us as quote unquote moscow's pet tankies because one of the only celebrities who actually threatens power donated to our completely independent outlet nailed us so this guy works for an outlet that literally takes money from the united states government and the uh, government of the uk so um as he's criticizing uh roger waters a private citizen for donating to an independent outlet so that i mean the levels of hypocrisy there are fascinating 